industry. So let's look at some scenarios uh, to educate ourselves how to approach uh, this uh, jaundiced uh, persons. So our first patient is a 55-year-old lady who underwent a laparoscopic cholecystectomy many years ago. For the last six months, she has uh, presented to various institutions with uh, recurrent upper abdominal pains uh, of a few days duration with uh, completely well in between. On two occasions, she had a fever, rigor, and she was uh, found to be jaundiced. So this is the um, investigation chart for a period of time, and you can see on two occasions, she had uh, ALT and AST parallel rise. Uh, more than um, seven times uh, normal, six times normal, and uh, on one occasion it was much higher. So, on two occasions, uh, I think three occasions, the bilirubin was above upper limit of normal, and uh, worst was in September. So, uh, fluctuant liver enzymes, fluctuant jaundice, fever, rigors, and right upper quadrant pains in a 55-year-old lady who had a cholecystectomy in 1998. So when you approach uh, this kind of uh, clinical problem, then you need to really have a list of differential diagnosis and then go through this diligently because she has been going around for six months with no diagnosis. When ALT is uh, more than 10 times the upper limit of normal, then we have only uh, these possibilities. It could be acute viral hepatitis due to uh, various hepatotropic and non-hepatotropic viruses. We can have acute uh, toxic hepatitis due to medications prescribed or otherwise or toxins including Amanita phyllates, which is a fungal uh, toxin. Also in olden days, uh, some anesthetic agents were classic example. One should not forget intentional or unintentional uh, poison intake like yellow phosphorus, etc. The other thing, especially when the patient is uh, ill with some other problem like a cardiogenic shock or septic shock, uh, a, a rapid rise in enzymes often up to thousands is uh, due to acute ischemic hepatitis. Some of the chronic conditions can cause acute flare-ups where the ALT can go up to 10 times. So, it is very important that the chronic conditions also can have a very acute presentations. Autoimmune hepatitis and Wilson's disease are uh, classic examples. But contrary to the intuition, two problems which are not directly related to the liver cell, because liver cell is the place where ALT is uh, coming from, but a pathology remote from the liver cell can irritate the liver cell uh, from a distance and then cause uh, acute sharp rise of more than 10 times. So, often uh, junior uh, residents mistake uh, ALT of uh, 1000 purely due to liver problem and then forget to re recognize that it can come from a drainage problem, either drainage of the bile duct uh, blockage, especially acute and sudden and severe where the bacterial infection can uh, ascend up to the uh, system of bile duct and as soon as it, the infection spreads into the liver, it is like a, a war invading a big city. You know? So, the biliary canaliculi opens up so much surface area for the bacteria to spread and just like ascending pyelonephritis, ascending cholangitis can cause septicemia and septic shock within few hours. A few hours delay in instituting antibiotics can make a big difference between good and bad outcome. So, acute pyelonephritis and acute cholangitis, septic shock can evolve within few hours due to the sudden increased surface area available for the infection to spread. So, this condition, ascending cholangitis, uh, contrary to our expectation, can be predominantly hepatocellular enzyme rise rather than alkaline phosphorase and gamma GT enzyme rise. So, very important. And also, another drainage problem away from the liver. You remember that picture of central vein, that central vein leads to hepatic vein and uh, the hepatic vein obstruction when it is acute can cause a sudden severe backflow ischemia and cause a severe uh, sharp rise in the ALT one should be aware of. So, acute viral hepatitis, toxic hepatitis, ischemic hepatitis, acute flare presentation of chronic hepatitis of autoimmune and Wilson's type and uh, atypically Acute bile duct obstruction and acute butt carry syndrome can present with predominantly hepatocellular enzyme pattern.